Hello, I'm Emily Spaven and this is your Week in Tech. In investment news, Dorset-based Gelo Industries raised $30 million from Chinese tech firm Quang Chi. The aerospace startup plans to use the funds to further commercialise its aviation technology and expand business in the Asia-Pacific market. InsureTech startup, bought by many, closed a £7.5 million Series A round. Led by Octopus Ventures, the round will enable the firm to launch a range of new insurance products. £5 million was raised by My First Years, an e-commerce startup providing customisable gifts for children. The round, led by Beringia, will help boost the firm's expansion to the US. Other investments this week include the £1.3 million Series B, raised by Sheffield battery tech startup Faradian, Click Mechanics $1 million round, and legal tech startup Juro's $750,000 seed. Deliveroo announced it will create 300 new tech jobs when it opens its new global HQ in London. The food tech startup said it will be on the lookout for senior software and hardware engineers in particular. It would be hard to ignore Theresa May's Brexit speech this week. She outlined her hopes for the UK to become a magnet for international talent and a home to the pioneers and innovators who will shape the world. Overseas, Mark Zuckerberg is expected to appear in court amid claims Facebook stole early VR innovations from Zenimax Media. Zenimax has argued Facebook copied its VR when Oculus built the Rift headset. On a more positive note for Facebook, the giant has confirmed its first startup incubator will launch in Paris. Hosted at the new Station F campus, the Facebook startup garage will work with 10 to 15 companies every six months. Our download of the week is Beeline. The app pairs with the Beeline Smart Compass device, which attaches to the handlebars of your bike. Enter your destination in the app, and an arrow on the device points in the direction you need to go. It also shows how far you've got left to travel. And finally, a family was left stranded in the desert after their Tesla car's keyless control app stopped working. With no signal in the Red Rock Canyon, the driver was unable to connect to Tesla's servers to start the car, meaning his wife had to walk two miles to call a friend and ask him to bring the key fob. That's all for this week's episode of The Week in Tech. For more technology news, visit techcitynews.com and follow us on Twitter.